Hi, my name is Andrew Vargo with Razorback Off-Road, and today we're excited to do an install video for a fixed windshield for the 2021 to current Razor Trail and Trail S machines. Now, before we begin, I'm gonna go over some of the tools that you'll need for the install. So I kind of have divided them up into sections. So for this first section, this will be the lower mounting brackets that you'll be mounting onto the windshield. And you're gonna need a 7 16 box wrench and a Phillips bit. And this is all the quarter inch hardware that we'll provide for you. And then the next part of the install, which will actually mount the windshield to the lower roll bar, lower part of the machine on the roll bar, you'll need a 15 millimeter socket. And then what we have the bolts that you'll have to replace the lower bolts on the machine. And we've provided that hardware. And then the last part of the install will be the 516s hardware. And you'll need a half inch socket and a box wrench for that. And I use a power drill. It just makes it faster just for these install videos, but you can use hand tools if you don't have any drills or power tools at your disposal. So we do include a couple of rubber plugs here, and these rubber plugs are meant for the Polaris aluminum stock roof. So the one thing that's nice about this windshield is that it is compatible with both of the Polaris stock roofs. So there's the plastic roof and then there's the aluminum roof that Polaris manufactures. So these plugs are used for that. And if you visit our website, you can see some photos and images of how this is installed onto that roof. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin. Like I said, we're gonna start with this first section. So to begin, I'll flip over the windshield and it'd be nice if you had a workbench to work on, but you're gonna grab one of these brackets and you want the slot high and you want these other slots lower. So if I lay them down on the table, you can see that they're tapered upwards. So this is the driver's side and this is the passenger side and they're gonna go on to the bottom like so. And so to install, you're going to need one of these bolts, put the washer on the bolt, come in through the bottom and you're going to put the washer and then the nylock nut on top. And you're going to do the same thing to the other slot. Okay. All right. And like I said, just leave everything hand loose because that's how we're going to leave it. And then we're going to, once you're done with that, now we're going to go ahead and put it onto the machine. But before we do that, you're going to need that 15 millimeter socket. And you're going to want to, you're going to want to remove the bottom bolts of this rolled cage, just the bottom bolts. And you're going to want to make sure you save the stock nylock nut that's on the, that comes stock on the machine. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those. Okay. And then put this off to the side. Okay. I'm gonna grab the windshield and you're gonna install it onto the machine. So I kind of just like to do that. And you just make sure the lower brackets are in place and that the panel is flat onto the roll cage like so. And this window does have some tabs that are bent in the back and you just wanna make sure that they're underneath. There's a welded on bracket right here on the roll cage. You just wanna make sure that they're, the tabs are underneath here. And you'll, you'll notice it too. You'll see a big gap on the side here and or over there. And you'll notice that if the tabs aren't tucked underneath there, this will be sticking up and it won't look right. So once you have that, okay. You're gonna grab the two lower bolts that we provided for you. And you're gonna go ahead and install the lower bolt in place of that stock hardware bolt that you just took off earlier, okay? You're go, go, gonna go ahead and tighten that down. Okay, and once you're done with that, we're gonna go ahead in the next step and tighten these lower bolts here. So for that, so you're gonna grab the Phillips bit, 
and the 7 16 box wrench. And you're gonna to come to the machine. And you just wanna make sure that the lower part of this panel is, is sitting flush and it looks like it's following the contours of the machine. And I always start with the lower bolt and you kind of need to look in here to see. Okay, so once you have that tightened down, you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So once you're done tightening the hardware on the lower bracket, um, one thing before we move to the next step that I want to explain is that you can install this windshield obviously with or without the roof. But if you do have the stock roof and you want to put it in, I would say you'd want to at this point install it because it has some mounting brackets that come up and through here. And we've designed it to have enough space up here at the top for those plastic brackets on the plastic roof to fit through here. So at this time, you'll want to want to pull back the windshield just a little bit and feed those plastic brackets through here. And then you'll pull it down and it'll pull everything together. And then you'll use the last pieces of hardware that we've provided to finish this windshield off. So we'll go ahead and move to the next step. You're gonna want, you're gonna want the half inch socket and the half inch box wrench. And you're gonna to wanna to grab one set of hardware. Put this down. And for this, you're gonna want the bolt and the washer to be the closest towards you. And you're gonna want the nylock nut to be up and underneath. And you should be able just to install it. Go ahead and tighten that down. Okay, you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay, all right. So once you're done tightening all the hardware down and you're happy with how your windshield sits, that'll conclude the installation of the fixed windshield. So once you're finished tightening all the hardware on your windshield and you're happy with how it sits on your machine, I'll talk a little bit more about why we designed it this way. We designed this fixed windshield because it was really difficult with our folding windshield to get it to fit with the stock roofs that Polaris makes. And so this was our solution to that, that problem is that we wanted to provide you guys with a windshield that will be compatible with the Polaris stock roofs. So this will fit with the plastic and aluminum stock Polaris roof, but this will also fit with Razorback off-roads roof as well. So if you have any questions, please contact our sales team at Razorback Off-Road and visit our website at razorbackoffroad.com as well to see machine compatibility or any other information you may be looking for about this windshield. Well, that concludes our installation video for the fixed windshield. And other than that, we hope to see you out on the trail.